found out that Jack had a cleft when I was 18 weeks pregnant. I believe it was my first ultrasound even. I remember they were like, it's a boy. And they tell you, the ultrasound tech tells you that. And we're like on cloud nine, so excited. She leaves the room. She's like, I'm going to go get a doctor. I'll be right back. We're texting everyone. And the doctor comes back in and says, you need to talk. There's no family history. Really, I didn't know much about clefts at all. At 10 weeks, he had his lip done. And he had um, tubes put in his ears. Then at nine months, he had his palate done. The people that do this, I like, it's like a miracle. Like, I don't understand how they give, like, this quality of life to these kids that they would never have had otherwise. And he's beautiful, you know, he's beautiful before, but I mean, now he's like, I don't have to worry about what kids are going to say to him or like, you know, he just looks amazing. And he's the happiest baby too. And with everything he went through, like, in his first few months of life, to be as happy as he is, is like so, such a good feeling. When I start to cry uh, is when um, I see the power of the child's personality sort of scorch through the defect and just like, you know, and just take over the, you know, and, and, and my job is just to try to make them you know, um, not a kid with a cleft. The goal is to allow these children to live a completely, fundamentally, completely normal life by simply restoring their facial appearance. I have a three-year-old cousin who is going to experience everything that I went through. But I know from being in his shoes that um, the surgeries that people with clefts go through, they're frustrating. Oh, going through all the, the bullying. Even though I was bullied, I, I wouldn't change it for the world. My plastic surgeon's my hero. He really is. We provide this family of support and, and, and basically a, a group of a dozen people that say, these are the roadblocks that you're gonna see. The way the teeth come in, the way the upper and lower jaw grow, the way the hearing develops, speech and in, in its imprinting, and you know, the, to be honest with you, it's sort of the tip of the iceberg is the way the kid looks. Everyone that I have encountered at UMass, they're all amazing.